open the kit and check the content of the kit. Please note, the outer of the kit might look different. The following items are included. Instructions for use, certificate, sterile lancets, sterile alcohol swaps, sterile bandages, Reader Screen Food Screen Blood Collection Card. Ensure a good blood flow. Drink plenty of water before the blood collection. Choose a warm room for blood collection. Move your arms to stimulate blood circulation. In order to further stimulate your blood flow, wash your hands in warm water. Use a pen to write your first and last name, as well as the date of blood collection on the card. Fill out the forms provided by the laboratory if applicable. Prepare the lancets. Twist off the yellow cap from one of the lancets and pull it straight out. Do not activate the lancets prematurely by pressing the white area of the lancet. Clean the finger with the provided alcohol swab. Let your finger dry. Use this time to relax your arms. Position the lancet on the side of your ring finger and press down firmly against the puncture side to activate the device. Massage the entire length of the finger to allow a large drop of blood. Let the blood drop touch the card and soak into the card. Please do not touch the card with your finger. Several drops of blood could be necessary until the blood has soaked to the border of the circle. You might want to relax and massage your finger in between in order to guarantee sufficient blood flow. Please use the spare lancet if necessary. Repeat this procedure for the other circles. Check that the circles are filled correctly. It is crucial that the back side of the circles are soaked throughout with blood. Please note that incorrectly filled blood circles cannot be used for the analysis. Patch your finger with a provided plaster. Let the card air dry overnight at room temperature. Once it is completely dry, fold the card and place it in the plastic bag with a desiccant. Fill out the provided forms of the laboratory. Put the plastic bag with a blood collection card and, if applicable, the completed laboratory forms in the envelope, seal it and mail it to the laboratory.